Hey guys, what's going on? It's Excellus Marks here, and welcome back to part three of our almost said fairy tale let's play. Uh, no, of our Ruby Grim Eclipse let's play. In the last episode, we did uh, technical difficulties, and um, we got through it without um, dying once. So that was a big positive, big improvement on the first one, and we ran into a new type of Grim, the Borber Task. Um, pretty easy Grim to take care of as well. Um, he had a bit of a, at the beginning was a little bit of a boo-boo, we kind of uh, messed up a little bit with the defending part, but at least we got through it in the end, the final uh, command center thing. So in this episode, we're going to be going, we're going to be doing the Great Collapse and going through Mount Glen or Mountain Glen. So let's go. And as I said in the last episode, the we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, Mount Glen or Dr. Ublow might as well. Um, Mount Glen was right, supposed to be everything. like an expansion way, of uh, Vale, which is where I think it was supposed to be an expansion of Vale, or it was supposed to be like a new city. Um, but I think either due to like it might, it, I don't think it was a, it was a supply difficulty. I think it was literally every time they went up to Mount Glen um, and like they settled there, Grim would just invade and just wipe everything out so they had to basically abandon mount glen because of that fact because they didn't want any more people dying i think they tried like so i think they tried like a lot of times to populate the city that was there for mount glen but it just never happened because Krim just kept attacking and killing everyone nice but yeah which is kind of a sad story because um i think it's Volume. It's either towards the end of Volume 2 or at the beginning of Volume 3 um, that Team Ruby actually go to Mount Glen and Ublek tells them about this. Uh, this. I think it's. I want to say it's uh, Volume 2. I want to say that. It's been a while since I've watched the early volumes of Ruby. I should go back, honestly, but I kind of don't want to. Not that Ruby's bad, it's just... And not that it looks bad either, but... Another one oh, for my collection. Volume 1 of Ruby has oh, not really aged that well. Uh, um, no offence to Rooster Teeth, you did a good job with it. Uh, did a fantastic job, actually. I, I don't know what it is, I do need to watch. I need to go back and rewatch it. Well, that's an issue. It appears the bridge is blocked. Hmm, yeah, he's the other guy, Dr. Ublak. Gets really angry if you call him Professor Ublak. If you go, if in the show, if people call him like Professor Ublak, it's Dr. Ublak. Like he emphasizes the doctor part. It's pretty cool. He has a has a nice uh, like when they're in Mount Glen with Team Ruby. Has a nice little relationship with. Um, Oh, Swai, who's uh, Yang and Ruby's uh, to to call me dog. I hope it still works. Okay, that's the one. I, thought. I knew one of them was in here. Um, do to do. Don't think there's anything in these parts. Nope. Okay, so let's open thy door. More great. Oh look! How did I know that would happen? Enemies. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, I can't hold it. I thought I could attempt it. I thought I could hold it. I couldn't. I don't know why. Oh god. Oh god. Jeez. Nope. Nope. Oh man. The or the fast aura regeneration helps so much. No bitch. Go away. I think we also get to see, it's either this one or the next chapter we get to see a new type of grim. Um, but there are some Grim that we'll never see in this game, I think. I want to remember. I don't think we see a, um, a Nevermore, which we see in the second episode, I want to say, or when um, people are doing their, like, initiations. Um, or when, like, yeah, Team Ruby and Team um, Juniper are doing their initiations. Or they weren't, though, they weren't, the t they weren't a team at the time. Um, so the initiation for Beacon, I don't know about the other ones, it might be the same, might not be, I don't know, um, is basically uh, Professor Ozpin, who's the headmaster of Beacon, uh, 
launches potential students off of a cliff into the Emerald Forest where they're supposed to find a like a token, which is like a chess piece. Um, and with that, um, that's how they get into Beacon. I don't think there's a I don't think it's a limited supply, it might be, I, I can't rightly remember, it's been a while, as I say, since I've seen the early parts of Rook, especially Season 1, or Volume um, the And also, you get a partner, which will be your partner for the next four years while you're at Beacon. Um, and you don't choose your partner before you jump into the forest. Um, what happens is the first person you make eye contact with in the forest um, will be your partner for the next four years. So um, the first, uh, um, so Ruby made eye contact with Weiss, which really annoyed Weiss because of um, her and Ruby had a little bit of a um, confrontation when she first came to Beacon. So that annoyed Weiss and annoyed Weiss even more when Ruby was named team leader and not her. Uh, Yang's partner is Blake. Uh, which is pretty cool, because they're both really good characters and I like them. Um, die, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Jean's uh, partner is, or was, uh, um, <laughs> Pyra. No, is it? It's Pyra, yeah. It's weird, because I've been playing um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, thanks to a good friend of mine. <laughs> I've played it before, but he kind of got me back into it. And it's like one of the the main blades in that game is called Pyra as well. It's is it Pyra? It might be Pyra actually. Again, two can mixed up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I, I've because I've always just called it Pyra, but no, I think it is Pyra. Um. Which was actually really good for Jean because of how like good of a fighter uh, Pira is, and she helped train Jean to become like a better fighter. Um, Eliminated. I'll sort my skill out later. Ah, new uh, new enemy. This is uh, an Ursite. Uh, basically, a Bear Grim. Pretty cool. Um, they do in the game. They do a lot of damage, but they're really slow. So um, after that ground attack, they'll be stunned. So, no match for me. They're... Yeah, just don't get hit by them, really. Yeah. Yeah, wherever you are, that um, that Perfect rock will form. attack you. So just be ah, careful whenever it's slams its uh, fists on the ground. And but you should be fine. You know what? Oh, actually, let's get that because that's gonna be really good. Damn. I need to do more of these attacks, actually. I need to do more of the counters. Which, I think the counters are the circle button. Like, when you get the circle prompt, I think that's the counters. Should be easy to just fart those off of a... Um, what do you call it? Oh. Bear wolves, because they do it so often. I don't think there's a counter for Ursi, so... That sucks. There you go. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Oh, team attack. Boom. Boom. Damn it. Oh, there's a team attack right there as well. Damn it. Oh, he got a bit too close there. Gotcha. 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 Stun the entire roster. Let's go. Nope. Nope. Also, if you can't see the better wolves, um, the best way to tell if they're like going to attack you, uh, the roar. That's the best way to tell if they're going to attack you. Oh shit, I thought it did that one. Okay, fair enough. Nope. Nope. Killed it with a counter as well, nice. Die, bitch. That was an alpha, not bad. 
Yeah, don't want to get caught by that attack from an alpha. And done. Yep. Pretty good, pretty good. Wow, we're nearly max level. Well, we're like four levels away from being max level. Did I... I did sort that. Oh yeah, because I got the team attack one. Okay, cool. Another one for my collection. Again, why is collecting fucking large uh, chess pieces? Pretty weird. Oh, and also something I forgot to mention about um, Ren and Nora is they grew up in the same like village. Um, when Nora kind of got picked on because I think she was like a quote-unquote outsider so kids picked on her but Ren was really nice to her so that's a good thing and they are the only two survivors of their village which sad Nora and Ren's backstory are like super super sad get away from me bitch Oh my god, I'm gonna get killed by these things. Get away from me, bro. I don't know why Weiss was shooting that, those ones, but you know. Weiss, it'd be nice if you shot them at, like, the bear wolves that are trying to kill you, you know. That would be nice. Oh god, nope. Whoop, give me that. Dodge. Why shoot them at the bear wolves that are fucking attacking you? Come on now, bro. Yes. Yes, wise. And there's an SI. It's getting rain to attack to death. Don't come near me, bitch. <laughs> Why is this like stay back, bitch? God, there's another one. Oh, it's an SI major. Yeah, oh, look at that. All my, took, took out all my aura in one attack. This is why you don't mess with an Ursi. Incredibly strong. This one might take a while. I got two ultimates, so there's that. If I can get it to stun itself. Boom. Boom. Ow! Mini boss battle right here, god damn. That's the thing, there's only lich there's literally only like one boss in the entire game. There's a stun. Ah oh, shit. Should back up, back up, back up. And there's no lock on feature, which also kind of irritates me sometimes when the camera decides to do its own thing. Oh god. Getting a bit greedy there. <laughs> yeah, as I say, there's only one boss in the game and it's like right at the end. Come on, die already, god damn. Again, another, like, I'll, again, Rooster Teeth, I'll give them. I'll give, I'll give them quite a lot of props for making this series. It's really good, really entertaining. Um, and another thing is some of the Grim designs are really creative. Like, um, obviously you've got the werewolves, like uh, werewolf stuff. You've got... Um, I don't know what's going on. Oh, building collapsing. Um, like the Ursi, which are the bears, the Ursi mages and stuff. Oh, that's the end of the... Oh. Okay, that was abrupt. Fair enough. Look at it, 230 and no no deaths. We're improving. We're improving, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one of the other ones I really like is I believe it's called a Nutleave, which is like it's like a horseman grim with like stretchy arms. Um, and it actually played a pivotal like role in um, like I think it's volume. F I want to say four. I think it's four. Um, it's either like in four or like early five, where a nut cleave actually played an important part in Ren's uh, story. But that's going to do it for today's episode. So, for a quick recap, we took on um, 
the collapse and we met actually we met two new types of grim we met the ursi and at the end the ursi major um cool grim uh not really that difficult they just do pack a punch if you but if you can avoid their attacks not that difficult uh, says most by most enemies really in this game um so uh, in the next episode we're going to be doing below the surface and just carrying on with the story so if you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying our ruby grim eclipse let's play as much time make sure to subscribe as well also please be sure to check out my monster Hunter world iceborne let's play and my fairy tale let's play because i had just much fun recording those games as i'm recording this game for you guys um also if you guys are a fan of jrpgs rpgs or anime games make sure to subscribe as well because hey that's what i do here um and as i said in every episode i have two projects in the work lined up one of which is um treasure cold steel 3 of course which will be i'll be recording in the new year which should be a lot of fun really looking forward to that game and the other one uh not so sure um, might put a poll up on twitter to talk about it or like for you guys to decide what i should let's play next because um, I've got a few ideas just bouncing around and I want to see what you guys want to watch me like play I guess um, as always my Twitter handle is xlysmorex follow me there I do most I mostly post like hey I just uploaded but I do other stuff from time to time I do promise <laughs> but with all that PSA out of the way this is xlysmorex and I shall see you guys next time <laughs>